Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss about arthrokinematics. What is arthrokinematics? It is defined as the study of the motions that occurs between the two joint surfaces. The, the motion occurring between two joint surfaces is known as arthrokinematics. And what is osteokinematics? Let us just revise the definition. Osteokinematics, it is defined as the study of the motion that occurs between two bones. This is the main difference between osteokinematics and the arthrokinematics. If you understand the difference between these two, you will be a very good physio, definitely for sure. Okay, what are the examples of arthrokinematics? Arthrokinematics, there are three examples which is known as a roll, a glide or translation and spin. Glide translation is also known as slide. Okay. Now, what is roll? New points on one surface of the articular surface meets the new points on the opposite articular surface during a motion, during a roll motion. Okay. In roll, the joint surfaces are incongruent incongruent in the sense the joint surfaces are not identical okay rolling is always in the same direction it is always in the same direction irrespective of the shape of the articular surface whether the articular surface is convex whether the articular surface is concave it doesn't matter the roll will always be in the direction of the motion or uh, simply which are in whichever direction the angular motion or the physiological motion is occurring in that direction only the roll will occur okay it results in angular motion of the bone okay rolling if occurs alone it does not usually occur alone if it occurs alone it causes compression on one side of the joint during the motion and the separation on the other side of the joint during the motion okay Normally, pure rolling does not occur alone, but it occurs in combination with that of the slide and spin. Okay. Now, let us see what is this compression and separation during the roll. Now, if you see this picture B, the concave articular surface is rolling in this direction. For example, assume it as a flexion, it resulting in compression at this side and separation at this side this dotted concave uh, bone I mean the articular surface uh, indicates that it's rolling in, in this direction okay this is uh, another example okay new point on one one point on the one surface meets the new points on the opposite surface okay this is all about the roll what is slide, glide or translation? In this, the same point on one surface comes in contact with that of the opposite articular surface. Okay. And this is one of the difference between roll and slide. For a pure slide to occur, the surfaces must be congruent. Okay. Whether they are the surface is flat or curved. The slide depends. The slide or glide depends upon the shape of the moving articular surface this is again in turn depends upon the convex concave rule which i will discuss in the next video okay uh, i'll just give a bit of it uh, what does it mean if a convex articular surface is moving for example glenohumeral joint flexion is happening okay flexion is an anterior motion that is uh, that is the anterior motion motion occurring anteriorly so the glide or slide occurs posteriorly okay if a convex moves if a concave moves the glide and the motion uh, the glide will be in the same direction as the top of the motion if a, co a concave i'll give an example uh, for example if you take the knee joint if a tibia is moving tibia condyles are concave and the femoral condyles are convex if the 
concave articular surface that is the tibia is moving as for example in an open kinetic chain exercise a knee extension exercise if you do extension that's the anterior motion knee extension the glide or slide will occur in that direction only okay but if you do squatting that's a closed kinetic chain exercise the tibia the distal end of the foot is fixed so the femur moves on a relatively fixed tibia so here the convex articular surfaces are moving so if you do flexion knee flexion that is in squatting if you go down the angular motion is flexion whereas the slide will be or glide will be glide occurring in anterior direction okay this is very important guys okay the the slide or glide occurring with respect to the that of the flat surface with respect to that of the convex or curved surface now let us see what is spin spin the rotation of a segment around a stationary mechanical axis the rotation occurs around a stationary mechanical axis okay same point on the moving surface creates an arc of a motion okay what does this mean see the spin occurs around a stationary mechanical axis and the moving articular surface creates an arc of a circle this is the arc of a circle which is indicated in red color okay its spin rarely occurs alone but it occurs in combination with that of roll and slide okay now what are the examples of spin a shoulder with flexion and extension hip with flexion and extension radio humeral joint supination and supination and pronation this is the example thank you guys